Hello everyone, and in this video, I will be going over having our key, if it was pressed down, return true for one frame. Now, this would be really good for like a menu system where you have to press A to continue, and you don't want it to skip ahead a whole bunch of other stuff. That'll be good for something like that. And it would also be good for if you had like a text box with the GUI system. There are different ways to implement this. And so one way we can do it is by creating a Boolean array. And I'll call this one keys. You can also do the same thing with the mouse button as well. But for now, I'm only going to do it with keys. We're going to create a couple methods and we're going to have a public void update and a public boolean is key pressed. And that's going to take in an int key. Oops. Didn't mean to take that. Okay. So before we get on with implementing these two methods, we first need to initialize our keys variable here. And that's going to be equal to a new Boolean array. And the size of this array will be glfw key last and this will this is the last key of how many keys glfw uses and that value is 348 apparently and the reason why we use glfw key last is because if glfw ever happens to so update their key list and they add a few keys glfw key last will be the last key that's that was implemented in glfw so that value could increase and of course we need to set it all to false so for int i equals zero, i is less than glfw key last, i plus plus. And we'll go ahead and set keys at i equal to false. Okay. Now we can get on to the next two methods. And so with the update method, we'll have a for, well, you can actually just copy this because it's practically the same thing. And keys at I is going to equal is key down. And we're going to pass in I. And that's it for the update. And now for the is key pressed, we'll return. And I believe this goes if the glfw or if is key down key and not keys at key. I'm pretty sure that's how it is. And now for the window class. In here, we're going to have a update method. So, oops. We'll create our update method. And this will have input.update. And it'll also have glfw pull events. Now we update the input 
before GLFW pull events. So this way, if any key was down for a specific frame, it'll input will basically say, hey, this is down. Now we can do our thing with the key. And then GLFW pull events determines which key is down for the next frame. As simple as that. And it also updates the window as well. Okay, so now in the main class, we're going to go down all the way to GLFW pull events. And we're going to replace this with window update. So now that we have win update, we should be able to run and nothing should crash. And where we have our win.get input, we can change is key down to is key pressed. And now when we run it, we should have the same result. The window should close. But as to show that it'll only return true for one frame, we'll have it print out true. So now if we run it, and I'll move this over here, if we press escape, and we hold it down, it shouldn't be printing out a bunch of trues. It should only print it out once, like it's doing. You can also do the same effect for if the key was released. So I'll copy this and is key released and we're just going to swap this uh, exclamation mark here so if the key is not down and our keys has that it's true then obviously the key has been released so if we change this to released and run it if we push down the button nothing should be printed and when we release the button true this may have been a pretty boring video but surprisingly you can get a lot out of this right here. It could also be done with the mouse and it could also be done with the joystick buttons. So yeah, could be very helpful for you or it couldn't, but I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video.